In this video, we're going to look at how to use the first derivative to determine the nature of turning points. The value of the first derivative f dash x tells us the gradient of the tangent at a point on the curve. When f dash x is greater than zero, that means that the gradients of the tangents to the curve are positive and that we have got an increasing function. When f dash x is less than zero, that means that the gradients of the tangent to the curve are negative and so the function is decreasing. When f dash x is equal to zero, the gradient of the tangents are zero and we have got stationary points. So we can use these values of f dash x to help us determine the slope of the curve and ultimately we can use it to determine the nature of the stationary points. There are three types of stationary points, minimum, maximum, and horizontal point of inflection. For a minimum turning point, the function is decreasing on the left-hand side of the stationary point and increasing on the right-hand side of the stationary point. This means that on the left, the value of f dash x is going to be negative, and on the right, the value of f dash x is going to be positive. For a maximum turning point, the opposite is true. On the left-hand side of the stationary point, the function is increasing, and on the right-hand side, the function is decreasing. So on the left, the value of f dash x is going to be positive, and on the right, the value of f dash x is going to be negative. At the horizontal point of inflection, the concavity of the curve changes, but the direction of the gradient to the curve doesn't change. So it can either be continually increasing on both the left and the right hand side of the stationary point, in which f dash x will be positive on both sides, or it can be continually decreasing on both the left and the right hand side of the stationary point in which the value of f dash x will be negative on both sides of the stationary point. Let's now look at how we can apply this idea of using the signs of the first derivative to help us determine the nature of the stationary points on the curve. For our example, we're given f of x is equal to minus x to the 4 plus 4x cubed plus 3 and we want to find the stationary point and determine their nature. The first step is we need to find the stationary point and we can do this by solving for f dash x is equal to zero. So given f of x is equal to minus x to the 4 plus 4x cubed plus 3, the derivative of f of x is going to be equal to minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared. We then equate f dash x to zero, so we get minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared is zero. To solve for this, we factorize so that we get minus 4x squared outside the bracket times x minus 3 is equal to zero. And in order for this to be zero, either x is equal to zero or x is equal to 3. So what that means is that we have stationary points occurring at x is zero or x is equal to 3. Now that we've established the x value of the stationary points, our next step is to check the sign of f dash x on either side of it. And we can use the following table of values to help us with this task. For our first stationary point at x is equal to zero, I'm going to choose x is equal to negative one as a point to the left and x is equal to one as a point to the right. We then need to evaluate f dash x at negative one and one. So f dash x is equal to minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared. At negative 1, f dash negative 1 evaluates to 16. This is a positive number, so we have got an increasing function at negative 1. At 0, f dash x is equal to 0. It is neither positive nor negative. In fact, we have got a stationary point. And at 1, f dash 1 evaluates to 8. Again, this is a positive number, so the function is also increasing. So looking at the general shape of the curve, this tells us that we have got a horizontal point of inflection. At x is equal to 3, I'm going to do the same, and I'm going to choose x is equal to 2 as a point to the left, and x is equal to 4 as a point to the right.
we now again need to evaluate f dash x at 2 and 4. So f dash x is equal to minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared. At 2, f dash 2 evaluates to 16. This is a positive number, so the curve is increasing. At 3, f dash 3 is equal to 0. It is neither positive or negative. We do have a stationary point. And at 4, f dash 4 evaluates to negative 64. This is a negative number, so that means that the curve is decreasing. So looking at the general shape of the curve, this tells us that we have got a maximum turning point at x is equal to 3. So putting all these together, here is a picture of the function f of x is equal to minus x to the 4 plus 4x cubed plus 3. And as we had predicted, we do have a horizontal point of inflection at x is equal to 0, and in fact, a maximum turning point at x is equal to 3. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please take a look at our channel. We upload videos weekly, so don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.